Hey guys, Rachel Kelly here and my amazing husband, Bruce Kelly. Hey guys, so we were here talking and sorry, trying to adjust. Um, was here on date night, right? And we're talking about date night. We're talking about, you know, how people, you know, they go on their date nights and basically what happens is, what happens, babe? A lot of times you give a lot of your friends for one, especially if you go to date night and you're going to a loud restaurant. A lot of times you're so distracted and sometimes people get mesmerized by all the lights and all that. And you know, so they looking all into the lights. They got TVs and things and they're going on. And then you got your cell phones with you. So what you want to do is, I don't know, I don't want to say everything because I know there's some things you want to say. But one of the things I want to just, I'll, I'll touch on, I'll let her touch on the, the phone thing. Um, but um, for men, you gotta be careful of like taking your wife to uh, like a sports bar, a place where you know the game is on. <laughs> I'm saying if you're gonna have date night, uh -huh. <laughs> and, and it's really about you and, and your wife and not really about you saying, hey, let's go out and go watch the game. No, you're talking about going out and, and be uh, cordial to each other as far as like really, being able to uh, connect, you're not going to be able to do that in a sports bar. So you got to be careful going out to places like that, sports bars and things like that. It was, and there's a lot of noise and you kind of shouting to hear each other and things like that. It makes, you know, kind of a, not a place for intimacy as far as for, you know, an intimate atmosphere for your date night. Okay. And in addition to that, what I want to say to you is there are so many you know, there's like so many couples who, you know, they're like, you know, you don't make me a priority. You know, you never, you know, spend time with me. You know, like you, you got all of that, right? So the one day that you do decide to go out on a date night, the one day that you do decide to spend time with one another, you go out on a date night and you both have out these things called a phone. And, you know, we were just talking because what we do is on our date nights, we put our phone away, right? A phone has to go in your purse, in your pocket. But it can't come out during the time that you're together. And so what happens is, that's not only what happens on date nights. Date nights, you're constantly looking at your phone, you're pulling it out. And I mean, you know, we were just talking like, and we, you know, when I asked my husband, I said like, how does this feel that neither one of us like pulled out our phones to look at our phone? It makes your spouse feel like they're important. So if you're constantly pulling your phone out or you're, or, you know, like you said, you're looking at TV and you're not talking to your, you know, you don't have eye to eye contact going on with your spouse, then how do they, they feel like it's a priority? You know, this is probably the only time during the week, one day a week that you guys get together and you go out on a date and you're not paying attention to one another. So we just want to encourage you all like date night once a week. And not only that, when you do have a date night, make sure that they are your number one priority. Mm -hmm. So what happens is during the rest of the week, when you're building your business or when you're running after your career, whatever you're doing, you know, you're in ministry, now what happens is your spouse feels like they're important. They don't have to feel like they have to fight for your attention all week because you gave them undivided attention on date night. So anything else to that, babes? Well, well I want to say just a few things, uh, just, just to kind of repeat and reiterate what we said. Uh, the do's and don'ts of a nice intimate date night. Um, be careful of uh, with the watches, you know, <laughs> because sometimes you might want to look at, you know what I'm saying, you be tempted to look at the time. So no like watch, you know, yeah, no watch. <laughs> um, no, I didn't do that, I don't know why she said that, but, <laughs> but um, so, so, no, so no watches, uh, no loud uh, atmosphere where there's a lot of loud music. Um, Thank you for uh, letting everybody know I have food on my face. <laughs> hey, Maurice. <laughs> hey, Maurice. So, Maurice. <laughs> so, you know, you want to make sure that, you know, uh, the atmosphere um, is quiet. Mm -hmm. um, there's no big, loud TVs. And then last but not least, like what you mentioned earlier, was uh, no cell phones. No cell phones? Are you serious? Absolutely not. No, we got to have a cell phone when we go on date night. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with you? <laughs> <laughs> hey guys god bless prayerfully you got some um insight into that please please leave your phones at home and give your spouse your undivided time or date night therefore when you're working or whatever you're doing during the rest of the week you can do it and not feel guilty and your spouse doesn't have to feel left out or um unthought of
Take care. God bless. And we will see you on the next live.